Well, good morning from um, Gamet in the, or Hemet in the Netherlands, uh, where we are at Japan Classic Sunday. Uh, there are classic Japanese cars arriving all the time in astonishing condition, and um, it's probably an idea to have a walk around the show. It's still early doors, but um, we'll start with the convoy we arrived in. Um, that vehicle you may have seen a video of, a Mitsubishi Colt. It's the Delica of its day. Um, but the, the rest of these cars were in our convoy on the way in. Um, so all the way down to the Cedric we'll have a look at at the end. That was our convoy to the show this morning. It was absolutely breathtaking. So my, my friends Ivan and Patrick own um, this car, which you may have seen in the Bromley pageant footage. Um, my mate Fergus owns this um, Skyline R30 Iron Mask. And then the rest of the cars also belong to Ivan and Patrick. Uh, we've got a South African assembled Skyline here, right-hand drive. It was in the UK for a while. Um, so it's the R31 Skyline, sorry, R30 and the R31 Skylines. And then if we move along, we've got the little Datsun Sunny that I, I drove in. Um, a beautiful little car. There will be a video coming on this, Little Honey. It was, um, yeah, thoroughly charming, but lovely, lovely styling. And quite clearly, a sister to the um, Cedric next to it. I think this is a Cedric, it might be a Laurel. I always get the two mixed up. Uh, but um, yeah, Datsun 2400 Super 6 with Nissan Full Automatic. And next to it is a car um, Patrick and Ivan acquired, um, I think it was late last year. Um, it's an Australian market Cedric 1900. An exceedingly rare car. So um, yeah. Our lineup this morning. That, looking at these cars in my mirror as I drove along was um, absolutely breathtaking. But um, we should probably have a bit of a mooch around the show. Like I say, it's still early doors. People are still arriving. But um, yeah, the quality of cars is already breathtaking. Look, gorgeous little um, Datsun Cherry coming in, a Nissan Primera behind it, and uh, another Cherry behind that. And uh, very much that is what this show is like. Uh, in fact, let's just go for a walk down the line and see what's about. Uh, let's come from Belgium, little cherry, little E10, uh, Primera GT with ginger caters. It shouldn't have ginger caters, but there you go. Little Figaro over there, cherry um, of the facelifted um, F2 or F11, depending on your point of view. Uh, two body Z, by the look of it. And look at that little Honda N600 over here. Oh, this is just breathtakingly amazing. And Nissan Maxima, Sunny Estate. And have a look at the Figaro here. Listen to that. Little air-cooled twin cylinder in those. Fantastic to realise, just perched on the back end. Mazda 626, Toyota Starlet. Wow, look at that 280ZX. That's astonishing. <laughs> that is a very unusual modification. Very period, very 1980s. And um, a little Honda Civic Mark 1 there as well. Oh, it's got Stanza rear lights. That's um, quite extraordinary. Brilliant. And uh, Sylvia here. Oh, this is going to be big. More Zeds. Land Cruiser. Uh, AE86 there, um, obviously being trailered in. Another Starleth, Carina. Oh, that looks like a Crown Estate. That should have some hot double rear wiper action, I believe. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, lovely. Z32, Mitsubishi Sigma. Very tasty. A uh, little Carina. Oh, look at that. That 
is a thing of great beauty. I think my friend Eddie may have some delicious parts for this car, so that should be good to see later on. See you later. God, the quality just keeps on coming. More louvered rear window action. Another little starlet. Later, oh, Glanza, that's the turbocharged starlet. Corolla. Another Corolla, slightly later. And Nissan Sunny ZX Coupe. And that appears to be our lineup for the moment. But as you can see, um, there's, there's just no show like this in the UK where the cars are in such great condition. And um, yeah, it, we, we just don't have anything on the, the Japanese show scene to match this in the UK. We've got big shows like obviously Jap Fest. Um, it is a great show, but it's all very much about the modified stuff. There's much more stuff here that is less modified, he says, looking at a Corolla with crazy rear lights. Right, let's go and see what else is in the show field. There we go, Hubnutter's Mitsubishi Airtrek, Toyota Sarah showing off the doors, um, Toyota Celica. Uh, I'm not sure if I picked up on this left uh, last year, but left-hand drive Celicas and Supras of this generation have a pantograph wiper, <laughs> which is nice. Um, more Celicas, Supras. Oh, it's a Toyota I've entirely forgotten the name of because we didn't get these in the UK. And a Sinos. There we go, some chunky rear light action going on. Beautiful rear lights of the Carina. Just love that styling. Uh, Benny's lovely Mazda 626 Coupe showing off its pillarless windows. It sold as the Montrose in the UK. And as I've discovered this morning, it was called that because it was a dealer competition to see who could sell the most cars and a Mazda dealer in Montrose Scotland won apparently and that's why this model was called the Montrose in the UK but nowhere else everywhere else it was just plain old Mazda 626 Suzuki Beleno um, look a Mazda 121 the car that became the Kia Pride a quite funky little thing they're actually really pleasant to drive as well um, Celica Supras, and again, these will be shown off some hot pantograph um, action. Look at that. Double the wiper arms, double the joy. That's like a little Hyundai Lantra there. Oh, little Suzuki. A Toyota. Something or other, we'll find out in a moment. It's like a squashed Majesta. I've never heard of a Toyota Majesta. That's what this show is like. So yeah, struggling to know where to go next, to be honest. The quality is kind of that good. Here you go, Hyundai Lantra. Now some people were saying these replaced the Stella and I thought they were a bit smaller than that, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, Toyota Camry hatchback. Pretty sure we didn't get the hatchback in the UK. This is just going to be a day of, I've never seen one of those before, isn't it? A gorgeous Mark 1 Prelude just coming in there. That always interested me because they were effectively a saloon with a rear wiper. Yep, all the wiper boxes being ticked. Bit of JDM going on on the back arch and no rear wiper. Disappoint. Uh, Mazda 626 with four wheel steering. Another Mazda 626 with four wheel steering. We may have watched those come in earlier. Uh, I really wish I'd owned one of these 626s. I feel I've missed out a bit. Uh, Toyota Cressida with twin rear wipers. That's a turbo diesel. Exceptionally rare. Uh, Nissan um, Sunny Coupe. That's rather lovely. It's got the um, rare alloy wheels uh, another starlet possibly with a turbo fitted yep yep so that's had a glanzer upgrade a little datsun coupe rather lovely and uh, yeah a little cherry here on the end um, so yeah everywhere you look there's a very modified mr2 there's quality let's continue down this way 
where we can find um, so it's a Corolla hatchback estate type thing. It looks like they really couldn't make their mind up with that one. It's part estate, part hatchback, part coupe. It's got pillarless styling going on. Again, I don't think we've got those in the UK. So yeah, very unusual again. Um, stunning Honda Quintet. Uh, a car we did get in the UK, but there are very, very few left. Dan Hurst, if he's watching, he owns one. Bizarrely, I think these were sold in Australia as a Rover. Um, I might be wrong in that. Fourth gen Prelude next to it. Uh, Nissan Silvia. Uh, Mazda MX-6 and another Silvia. Should be quite a few Silvias about today. And then I think we're looking at some of the cars we saw coming in earlier. But, oh, there it is. We need to go and look at the Daihatsu Sherrard on the end here. Uh, past these lovely starlets. Because this is a Daihatsu Sherrard Coupe. And the only thing that makes it a Coupe is the fact it has um, portholes in the back. Uh, the normal hatchback did not have those. Um, it's just a hilarious styling feature to put on a tiny little hatchback, um, but quite amusing. All right, let's go see what else is coming in. Once again, I have no idea what it is. It's a strange feeling for me, but it happens often at Japanese car shows. 929. Wow. See, we got the 929 Estate, but the previous generation model and that was the only model we got um, in the 80s. There's a Majesta. The Majesta really does look like a slightly melted Mercedes. Most peculiar. But yeah, such quality. Um, let's go and have a look at the Hondas. The lovely brown Accord right on the end. The Celica comes in. Very early one. No, not very early one. It's got bubble rear lights. That's a facelift one with a slightly different front end on it. Yeah, here's the Honda N600 looking quite tiny next to the um, Civic. It's not often the Civic looks big. No, not an N600. This is a mere 400. Wow, that is a tiny engine. Oh, there is an example of the 929 we do get in the UK, the estate version. I've done a test drive on one of these. They're absolutely enormous, but very pleasant to drive. And uh, there's another Carina, those sexy rear lights. Um, I think that might be a Mazda RX down there. RX4, maybe? But he's just driven off. Uh, got Honda touring car look going on. Well, wow. Oh, that's a nine two nine as well. Look at those rear lights, amazing. That is green motoring. Unfortunately, I've run out of battery on the camera, so um, Mazda 818. So, um, yeah, I'm, I've had to resort back to the um, mobile. Uh, lovely Corolla four-wheel driver state. Absolutely love these. Very, very 1980s styling. And um, the Honda S2000s have arrived in bulk. Look at this little Mira Cabriolet. Impressive beard qualities as well. That's like a convertible version of our Perodua Nipper. Hot stuff. C110 Skyline sounds purposeful. Seems to be running slicks. Another Glanza behind. Another Datsun Estate coming in, um, a 180B, I think, but with the grill off something else. Nice. 
nice. Uh, Nissan Patrol towing in a Hako. That one still needs some work by the look of it. Oh well, another Skyline R30. Just the basic saloon. The boring rear lights. Uh, the MR2. Oh, a Ford Festiva is coming in. That's quite amusing. Ford Festiva is a badge engineered um, Mazda 121. Uh, sold quite a lot of those in America. <laughs> Great. Oh, let's go for another walk down the line, see what else is coming in. Little Mazda Familia. So I've done a video on one of those as well. Gosh, that's brown. Full blown 1300 one hydro. It was just a one liter. Here comes the AE86 race car. That must be quite a lot of fun. Lovely. I like those cherries. Oh, we got a little fair lady coming. 200 SX. Lovely, 1600. Wow. Toyota Sports 800. That's quite insane. Subaru Mini Jumbo. That is fantastic. <laughs> Little Lancer Turbo complete with backwards writing on the chin spoiler. And uh, how the Lancer evolved. How's that for a pun? Nissan Pulsar. Best rear lights ever. Lovely Laurel. We're just going to stay here and watch the stuff come in. And this really is doing things properly. Your Mitsubishi Kanta truck transporting a little cherry and a Bluebird Triple S. Ooh. 140 Y Coupe. And again. And still they keep coming in. This is going to be quite the show. We've given up walking around. We're just going to watch them come past us. Now here's an oddity, this is Toyota's first front wheel drive car, the Tercel, and my mate Eddie there just told me that, that's not knowledge I knew. Inline engine, very strange rear styling. So we got the Tercel more as this sort of thing, the four wheel drive estate. Gosh, Corona Mark II. This show's amazing. Um, Ignis Sport 4x4 That's quite a nice sight, that's a 4-door R33 Skyline uh, They're not all about big spoilers and big power uh, They did sell um, saloon versions as well 
and uh, let's have a closer look at this um, Pulsar. So it's effectively a Nissan Sunny, but um, given a serious styling makeover, I think American styling. So, yeah. Rear lights are utterly remarkable. There was an aero back version here last year as well. And look at that, that's a Daihatsu Charmant. Uh, that's a Daihatsu Charmant and so is that. And so also is the one next to it, that's the first generation. And these are in incredibly rare. I know there are perhaps one or two in the UK of this later version. I'm not sure they even sold the earlier type here. A slight case of a face only a mother could love, maybe, going on. But um, only a mother could love, even. Let's try and get the words in the right order. Uh, it's just, frankly, all a bit too exciting. Uh, look at this Mitsubishi Sapporo over here. Amazing. What a show this is. It's just unbeatable for quality. As uh, a Subaru Mini Jumbo. In fact, when the K car regs tended to favour a twin cylinder engine. So, no flat four, four wheel drive here. All of the beige vinyl. Look at that sliding wiper and light controls on the dash. That is just absolutely delicious. We'll keep going because we've got a little Suzuki Alto next to it as well, which is um, even more beige. Look at that. So a little three cylinder engine in that. The um, K car regs opened up a bit in the early 80s, I think, uh, to allow you to have a larger engine. And there's a twin cylinder Daihatsu Sherrard. No porthole windows on this one. Oh, sorry, three cylinder, two valves per cylinder. I'm uh, misreading the Dutch information. Daihatsu YRV, the um, hilarious Daihatsu Trevi. Um, how on earth did they avoid a lawsuit from Mini with that one? Uh, quite amusing. I remember once seeing one of these um, in um, France and um, yeah, I almost fell over. This is a Nissan Silvia I featured in Retro Japanese magazine last year. I did the photo shoot the day after Japan Classic Sunday, I think, or maybe it was two days after. But um, as far as I know, the only car that had pop-up headlamp, uh, headlamps with headlamp wipers. Quite extraordinary. Um, if I remember rightly, this is a German market example. And, and the um, owner, Marco, takes it you know, on tracks all around um, Europe, so it gets many frashes. Uh, Subaru Leon coming in. Next to another Mitsubishi Sigma, there's the um, Sapporo with its amazing rear lights. Just all of the wow, really, that's what this event is. The fantastic rear lights of the Mitsubishi Starion Turbo. This is the narrow body version. Fantastic wacky dashboard. And uh, let's have a closer look at the um, Lancer, because this is making me feel very back to front. It's all frankly a bit much when you've got cars such as this tasty Toyota Carina 2 hatchback and um, some more double rear wiper joy crown super saloon even though it's an estate with extra rear seats uh, suzuki sj and um, up here past the suzuki baleno and the toyota tercel we've got another sj complete with sj trailer complete with SJ model. And a later Mitsubishi Sapporo over here has pulled in fairly recently. I've seen one of these in the UK. And I perhaps know of another. 
And again, it's all of the rear light joy. Just so much of their time. I don't think I've ever been to a car show where there are so many cars I've never seen before. Yeah, Toyota Corona 5 door. I just pretty sure we never got those either. And there's still cars coming in. Uh, Honda Accord Coupe there, and behind it, Civic Shuttle. Love Civic Shuttles. But um, I think I'm finally going to have to stop, really, otherwise I'll be recording all day, because, um, yeah, there's just too much quality. Too much. So, yeah, maybe now is the time to stop. Another Sylvia, another... Primera. I mean, Primeras are pretty much all but vanished in the UK. And along here, we've got um, UK Impreza. Uh, not UK Impreza. I've been distracted by the rumble in the background. UK Piazzas. Isuzus. Um, they are surprisingly pleasant to drive. And um, we've got um, Daihatsu Materias. Several of those. And oh, hello. I missed that coming. Mazda 929 Coupe. Bonkers vehicles everywhere you look. Wow. Complete with coat hanger on the head restraint and push button dashboard. Oh. Astonishing. And nice to see a Toyota RAV4 at a Japanese classic show as well. Oh, I need to have a lie down. Blimey. That it's something I've never seen before again. Subaru Baja. Is that my Z1? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Now there are Honda Accord Aero decks coming in two at a time. This is just insanity. I can't cope with this event. I've already recorded my outro, um, so I'm going to have to slot these in a bit earlier and pretend I didn't do that. Amazing styling. That's a 510 there, sold as the Bluebird in some markets. Very advanced car, actually. Overhead cam engines and um, independent rear suspension. But um, the quality keeps coming. And the variety keeps coming. <laughs> Sorry, I'm microphone free at the moment, but you probably want to see this. That is the earliest Nissan Patrol I've ever seen. Being fittingly towed by a Nissan Patrol. Wow. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, it's been an astonishing day and uh, it's not even lunchtime yet. Um, but frankly, I need to lie down because I have seen too much. Um, so I shall say, thank you very much for watching this report from Japan Classic Sunday. Do put it in your calendar next year if you own a Japanese car, especially if it's a lovely minty fresh one. And um, yeah, all good times. Um, you can buy Hubnut stickers and t-shirts and mugs at hubnut.org or support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash hubnut. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I shall bid you farewell and see you in a future video. Farewell. <laughs>